हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर न्यू लेसन लेसन नंबर फोर टिक 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 नो व्हाट इज टिक 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 इट इज अ साउंड व्हिच इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द क्लॉक वी वी कैन हियर द साउंड दैट इज टिक 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 सो इट दिस लेसन इज बेस्ड ऑन टाइम सो इन दिस लेसन वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट पॉइंट फर्स्ट रीड द क्लॉक टू द एग्जैक्ट मिनट फाइंड द टाइम ड्यूरेशन फ्रॉम द गिवन टाइम give close estimate of the time usually take for familiar activity then solve story problems based on time and calendar and draw and read timeline so first of all first point is in our point is read the clock to the exact minute how to read the clock so clock is a very important in our daily life we can know the time by the clock so how can we read the time let us learn about the clock see there are two hands in clock first is short hand and long hand short hand is called hour hand and long hand is is called minute hand i will explain you by this clock see this is a clock there are numbers from 1 to 12 and there are two hands this is the short hand and this is that the green hand you are uh, seeing that it is a short hand and this is a long hand it is hour hand and it is a minute hand so how can we read the time see where short hand first of all let me explain about the short hand it is a short hand where it is pointing that is called a hour see it is pointing in at 2 it means 2 o'clock is there when it is a pointing to 4 see it is a pointing to 4 that means it is a 4 o'clock when it is a pointing to 6 it means 6 o'clock when it is pointing to 8 it means 8 o'clock when we are reading the hour hand that means short hand so each number indicate hour okay now move from move to the minute hand so it is a minute hand it is called long hand so see how can we how can we read the minute hand so we have to see here's numbers are there see you can see the numbers 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 40, 40, 40, 40 and 50 then 55 and 0 what is the meaning of this let us learn about about it briefly okay students now see the clock is here okay now how to read the minutes okay so first of all see where the long hand is pointing so it is start from 1 so we have to follow that numbers clockwise okay so when we uh, when it pointing to 1 so there will be 5 minutes so take the table of 5 we have to learn the table of 5 and then which number the minute hand is pointing so it will be multiplied by 5 so 5 1 5 ones are 5 then if the minute hand is pointing to 2 then 5 twos are 10 then if the minute hand is pointing to 3 and 5 threes are 15 like this 5 fours are 20 then 5 fives are 25 5 sixes are 30 5 sevens are 35 5 eights are 40 5 nines are 45 and 5 tens are 50 but we have to multiply two numbers more so 5 multiplied by 11 5 11s are 55 then 5 12s are 60 here 60 minutes is completed that that means here's 1 hours is completed so when the minute hand is pointing to the 12 it is the top of the hour okay now how how can we read the minute hand see if the minute hand is pointing to 1 means Five minute is here. If the minute hand is pointing to two, so five two is a ten. So here, how many minutes are there? Ten minutes. So if the minute hand is on three numbers, that means five three is a fifteen. Okay, like like this, five four is a twenty. Five five is a twenty five. Five six is a thirty. Then thirty five, forty, forty five, fifty, fifty five, and sixty. In that way, we can. read the minutes hand up 
अब हम ये देखते हैं नाउ आई विल एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू गेट द मिनट्स टुगेदर दैट मीन्स आवर हैंड एंड मिनट हैं ओके हियर्स द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन रीड द टाइम शोन ऑन द क्लॉक एंड राइट दैम इन टू वे सो वी हैव टू राइट इन टू वे सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सी वेयर इन द वेयर इज द फर्स्ट हैंड दैट मीन्स वेयर इज द शॉर्ट हैंड शॉर्ट हैंड इज कॉल्ड आवर हैंड सो इट इज ऑन ट्वेल्व एंड वेयर इज द मिनट हैंड इट इज ऑन टू सो हाउ मेनी मिनट्स आर देयर सी फर्स्ट वन फाइव फाइव वन जो फाइव एंड इट इज टू सो फाइव टू जो टेन मिनट्स विल बी देयर सो ट्वेल्व टेन फर्स्ट वे टू राइट द टाइम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू राइट इन आवर्स ट्वेल्व आवर्स एंड हाउ मेनी मिनट्स टेन मिनट देन इन द सेकेंड वे how to write in second way so how many minutes are completed here 10 minutes okay so first of all we have to write 10 minutes past past means completed guzar gaye after 12 so 10 minutes past 12 okay see the next clock here the short hand is on 9 and long hand means minute hand is on 3 so short hand is on 9 okay so how many hours are there it is 9 and after how many minutes are completed see 1 2 3 so long hand is on 3 so 5 3 is a 15 so 9 15 it is the first way to write and then the second way to write 15 minutes past 9 but in 15 minutes we have to write quarter we can write it as a quarter and 15 minutes you can also write it so quarter past 9 okay it means quarter means 15 minutes completed after 9 hours then third number see where is the long hand it is on 9 and where is the short hand it is between 3 and 4 that means 3 hours is completed and it's going to completed 4 hours so after 3 hours completed how many minutes are completed see it is start from here here it it is so it is 9 so 5 9 za 45 so 3 45 minutes and in the second way in the second way we can write it 45 minutes past 3 but as we know it is as closer as 12 but yahan se ye dur hai so we have to write it quarter to 4 yani ki quarter mein 15 minutes kam hai quarter to 4 you can write like this and if you want to write 45 minute past 3 that that is also correct but it is a correct one also quarter to 4 it means 4 mein 15 minutes kam hai it is okay is it clear okay next question see the next clock okay oh, here, here are two hands first is it is short and it is long it is our hand and it is minute hand to see where it is our hand the our hand is pointing to 7 it means 7 o'clock and where the minute hand minute hand is pointing to 12 so when the minute hand is pointing to 12 it is the top of the hours that means only see the numbers where the hour hand is on okay so where the hour hand it is on 7 so we can write it 7 o'clock okay now see there are the short hand is on between 10 and 11 and the long hand it is on 6 so first of all see how many hours are completed here 10 so write it first 10 then how many minutes are there see it is on 6 number so 5 6 are 30 it is the first way to write and then how to write in second way see how many minutes are completed 30 minutes so we can say it as half an hour okay in 1 hour 60 minutes are there so in half an hour 30 minutes are there so half an hour past 
okay we can write it like this then next the first hand which is our hand short hand is on between 5 and 6 so how many hours are completed 5 and then long hand is on 6 so 5 six are 30 So time is 5 30, and how can we write in second way? This is the first way and second way. See, like this, half an hour past 10. So half an hour past 5. Yani half hour complete ho chuka hai 5 ke baad. Past 5. Okay. Okay. Our next question is: Draw the hour and minute hand to show the time. So we have to draw the hand in the clock. So th this is the first question, and time is three twenty. Means three hours completed and twenty minutes completed. So first of all, let's draw the hour hand. Where it is on three, and C. Between it will be between three and four. because 3 hour completed and after that 20 minutes also completed so it will be between 3 and 4 and how many minutes are there 20 so count from one number 5 ones are 5 5 so two are 10 5 threes are 15 and 5 fours are 20 so our uh, minutes hand will be on 4 okay now next 7 40 means our hand will be on 7 and minutes hand will be on 40 minutes okay so first of all let's draw the short hand it is on 7 so see 40 minutes are completed completed so it will be between 7 and 8 it is short hand now 40 minutes Where it is completed? See, five ones are five, five twos are ten, five threes are fifteen, five fours are twenty, five fives are twenty-five, five sixes are thirty, five sevens are thirty-five, and five eights are forty. So minutes hand will be on eight number. So seven forty time will be there. Okay. Next question. Fifty minutes after twelve o'clock means how many hours are there? Twelve and Minutes will be there fifty. So first of all, let's draw the hour hand. It will be on twelve. It will be on between twelve and one because after fifty minutes also completed. So it will be between twelve and one. So it is a short hand. And how many minutes will be there? Fifty. So let's count from one. Five ones are five. Five twos are ten. Five threes are fifteen. Five fours are twenty. Five fives are twenty-five. Five sixes are thirty. Five sevens are thirty-five. Five eights are forty. Five nines are forty-five, and five tens are fifty. So here will be minute hand. Twelve forty. Okay. Last question. Thirty-five minutes after four o'clock. So how many hours are there? Four. So. it will be between 4 and 5 and how many minutes are completed 35 so let's start from here 5 ones are 5 5 twos are 10 5 threes are 15 5 fours are 20 5 fives are 25 5 sixes are 30 and 5 sevens are 35 so minutes hand will be same so in this way we can count 35 minutes after 4 so what is am the full form of am is Anti meridian. The meaning of this before midday. The time before midday. So, what is the meaning of midday? What is midday? The midday is twelve o'clock at noon. Okay. So next, from it is start from midnight to midday. It it completed at midday. Midday means twelve o'clock at noon. Okay. What is the meaning of PM? Post meridian. The meaning of this after midday. After midday means the time after 12 o'clock okay so what is am am is a full form of anti meridian so meaning of am is before midday okay then it is start from midnight to 
मिड डे मतलब इट इज कंप्लीटेड बिफोर मिड डे वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ मिड डे मिड डे मीन्स ट्वेल्व ओ क्लॉक एट नून यानी कि दिन के ट्वेल्व ओ क्लॉक जब होते हैं दैट इज कॉल्ड मिड डे देन वॉट इज पी एम पोस्ट मारिडियम आफ्टर मिड डे यानी ट्वेल्व ओ क्लॉक के बाद का जो टाइम होता है वी विल राइट इट एज अ पी एम फ्रॉम मिड डे टू मिड नाइट नाउ लेट्स लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड विद दिस क्लॉक सपोज इट इज स्टार्ट फ्रॉम ट्वेल्व ओ क्लॉक एट नाइट इट इज कोल्ड ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व ओ क्लॉक इट इज एट नाइट इट इज कोल्ड मिड नाइट एंड ट्वेल्व ओ क्लॉक एट नून इट इज कोल्ड मिड डे सो इट इज स्टार्ट फ्रॉम मिड नाइट वेन इट होल राउंड कंप्लीटेड मिड नाइट से लेके नेक्स्ट डे दिन के ट्वेल्व ओ क्लॉक इट कंप्लीटेड वन राउंड दैट मीन ए एम ओके एंड देन आफ्टर मिड डे मीन्स ट्वेल्व ओ क्लॉक एट नून वेन इट कंप्लीट वन सर्कल वन राउंड टिल ट्वेल्व ओ क्लॉक एट नाइट दैट इज कॉल्ड मिड नाइट वी विल राइट इट एज अ पी एम ओके स्टूडेंट ओके सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन चूज द एस्टिमेटेड टाइम फॉर द फॉलोइंग एक्टिविटीज फ्रॉम द गिवन बॉक्स सो ये द टाइम इज गिवन एंड वी हैव टू चूज द चूज द टाइम सो वी इन विच time we can complete the given activity see so first polish shoes so we can take some time okay so first is 2 hour it is 2 more so 20 minutes no 1 minute no 8 hour no and 5 minutes so we can complete this activity in that uh, in that minute so here will be 5 minutes we can polish our shoes in 5 minutes okay next read a story book at least we can uh, we can take 1 2 hours to in reading a story book so here see the uh, see the time in the given boxes first is 2 hour 20 minutes 1 minutes 8 hours and 5 minutes it is completed so here is 2 hours and 8 hours we have to choose between both them so 2 hours we can take it okay next sleeping at night so we have to take at least 7 to 8 hours in sleeping time so see the given time 20 minutes 1 minute and 8 hour so it is the correct answer okay next assembly time in school it will be between 20 to 40 minutes 10 minutes will be it can be done so here's 20 minutes and 1 minute so 1 minute is not possible so we can take it 20 minutes so we will write here 20 minutes and after this last sharpen a pencil so we can complete in a minutes okay so here's only one option is there One minute. Okay. Now, students, is it clear? 